gold. Oh. Alright guys, it's uh, not quite 6 o'clock in the morning. I had to get up for this storage unit I want to buy today. Got this wonderful looking metal cutout Harley Davidson sign. I love this thing. That might go on my building. All the tools all through this unit. I'm leaving at 660. I don't think anybody's awake. I think I'm going to sneak this one off relatively cheap. Really want that. I think I'm probably gonna snag this for 660, which I was thinking I was gonna have to go to about eight or nine, maybe more. But uh, I'm gonna get this and go back to bed for a while. So, look at that. Look at that. We're gonna get this unit for cheap. All right, guys, we're in this unit. I just opened the door, and uh, that's the sign I really wanted. That's probably going on my building. He said he thought this was the best unit here. They had 19 units. I've got all the Craftsman tools. My door, it was heavy as hell. It rolled up like this. So that's going to be something I'm going to be cracking my head on all day long. Look at this. I could sell that. There's no doubt about that. This thing's full of good stuff. Uh, it's a little dirty in here, but that's probably good. I'm going to give you a really... Let's see what's in here. There's a nice... Nice... Got a lawnmower. An old uh, headboard. A shop vac. Tradesman uh, saw. Oh yeah, there's the blade. Got a rolling table saw, craftsman tools with the uh, with the key. Oh, I really love this thing. That's going on with me today. This little thing full of uh, bolts. Now oh, this is nice. Let's hope there's some good tools in here. Chrome. Oh hell, they're all trade okay we got a few hundred dollars here one way or the other not the greatest tools but it wasn't too expensive either all right let's see what we got here and there's some drill bits probably be clean be uh, selling the toolboxes probably clean them out Let's see what we got here. Just what you'd expect in there. So we got these toolboxes. I'd be willing to bet uh, I can get probably $150 for those. Okay. I'm gonna start loading some of this stuff. This side's loaded pretty heavy. Get shot back. Rigid, rigid shop back. That's got to be $25. There's the hose in there. That's nice. Alright. We got a table saw here. This one's there. Probably use that in the shop. It's still a little bit of pain in the ass already. F you on here. Somebody got mad. Probably quit right then. Yeah, I think so. Here. Alright, guys. 
problem. What do you think of this lawnmower here? It's a Briggs and Stratton. That's got to be. What's this? Is that a respirator? That seems to be a respirator. I'm not sure we'll have to look this up. I don't know what I can get out of that, but I'm sure it's going to be good. I think I can come back here and want you to get all this in one more trip. Here's an old Harley leather jacket. Might have some value to it. It's all solid leather. Okay. There's a little bit of money here, guys. Once we get this thing cleaned up. Oh yeah. It's a Munich Ultra. Okay. I think we got some there. It's a nice box here. I was hoping it had something in it, but yeah, it's what it is. Looks like they. It's nice. I think I could sell the box itself. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe twenty bucks. Maybe fifteen. I don't know. Silver plate. It's all silver here. Wonder if we got any silver, actual silver. I don't think so. I think what we have here, I'll have to look through every piece. But I believe we got silver plate here. Can't get much for this. But it's nice. We'll check it out later. And we got Mustang. Oh wow, a motorcycle seat. Oh shit, look at that motorcycle seat, guys. Nothing wrong with it either. There's some money. We'll have to look that up, but I believe we got some money there. I believe we got a hundred dollars or better there, I'm guessing. That's money. Let's pull some more money out of here. You want to put some mo mo money? Money. Nothing. Oh, a welding mask. Let's sell these. This one's not real good, so it's probably. I don't know, this has got to be 20 bucks. I'm guessing 20 bucks. Pantaloons. Good old coffee machine. A printer. A pair of swim trunks. Some 
overalls. GPS. Let's get some of that uh, cash here in this pocket. Thank you. I'm going to get all this tomorrow. I'm going to get all the goodies today, though. We got a, oh, this is a subwoofer system. I think we got a few dollars here. There's something here. Oh, there's something in here. Let's see what we got. That's really glad. I'm really glad I got this unit. Oh, it's a nice toolbox. Tools aren't really here, but this toolbox is nice. Oh, that's got to be 20 bucks. Oh, wow. Here's a knife. Look at that. Buck Kalinga. Look at that. It's a buck knife in the case. There's another $20 bill sitting there. That's nice. We'll just keep finding money. Because that's what we do. Uh, some reflectors. Nice little box. No money. Oh. Ray-Bans. Look at that. They need to be cleaned up. These are Ray-Bans. That's some good money on Ray-Bans, guys. That's the worst case, 20 bucks on these. Worst case. That's nice. Let's just keep digging money. What you got? He, they said he was a metal worker, so I imagine he made that sign. And this has been welded together, probably making some kind of a part or something. I don't know. Just saw. Uh, some more motorcycle parts. Yeah, these are motorcycle parts here. This can go with the seat because I think we'll market it all together. This is pretty good there. Yeah. These tables, I can't see not getting $100 for the pair. That ought to be pretty good. Let's see here, that's just crap there. Nails. Apparently this guy worked for UPS. Hey, good stuff. I'm pretty good. Yeah, I got a brand new motorcycle seat in here. There you go. Yeah. Okay, um, even these are worth 10 bucks or so. And we'll put it in there. Let's see what else we got going here. Gun cleaning kit. Okay. There's ammo. Oh yeah, we got, uh, well those are game loads, rifled slugs, 12 gauge, alright we got ammo here, that's a little bit of money, we'll probably keep that though.
Here's the 12 gauge. More ammo. Gun cleaning pet. Oh, it's a whole gun cleaning. Gun oil. Victory motorcycles. The new American motorcycle. A little patch. Lost their marbles. Yeah, yeah, gotta figure every now and then. Lose the marbles. All right, we'll put all this ammo and stuff in the, in the car. All right, let's get this big toolbox out of here. We got to get it down to where we can get it all in one load tomorrow. That's all I gotta make sure of today. Looks like this might have been a gun case. Yeah. There's a gun lock in it. Trigger lock. Okay, well, five bucks there. People normally don't leave their handguns. They do leave their... Sometimes they do. Probably get $150 to $200 for this. So, I'm going to save a little bit of mystery for the next run. Uh, there's going to be some stuff up here. There's a helmet. Okay. That ought to be a little bit of money. There's some copper. I don't want to look too much in there. We'll find something later. got a sandblaster. Here's a saw. Portable air. 
Oh, that's nice. I might have to take that off to get that, though. So, we'll, I'll run you through here, and you can tell me if you think I did good. We were about $700 for this. But you know what? I'm going to find a few more things. There's some locked file cabinets. I'll save that. We got these tools. Mostly the toolboxes. I'll clean those up, sell them. I'm probably get 150 to 200 in that range for that. So we got to go through all that. So what I've got that I'm taking home on this run, got a rolling 10-inch uh, compound miter saw, a uh, stand-up grinder, another toolbox, knives, a couple knives. BB gun, CDs, table saw, lawnmower, shop vac, and a cool sign. So we've got a really good start going here. All right, we're back, guys, from the Mount Washington. We got the first load. So what we got here is a 10-inch bench table saw on the table here, and uh, got the blade on it. Got that. Somebody wrote something bad on it. We got this. Central Machinery 8-inch bench grinder, heavy as hell. You can bolt it to the concrete floor. You got the grinder, you got this pad here. We'll test that here in a bit. And uh, this is a rolling 10-inch uh, compound miter saw. It's got its own table. And that ought to bring a... I don't know. We'll, we'll have to look that up. I haven't sold any of those yet. We got a Briggs and Stratton 20 inch lawnmower. That's 30 bucks maybe. Uh, lots of ammo. Here's my tripod. That was already in here. Gun cleaning kit, ammo, CDs. There's the gun cleaning kit. Oh! I haven't seen this. Some arrows. Oh yeah. Allen wrenches. It's just little tools. Okay. And then we got this gun case here. It was empty. Fire can. Smith and Wesson. Nine millimeter. It was in there. Got this buck knife. Kalinga USA. Even has the guy's name on it. And that's nice. Got this handgun, but it happens to be a uh, <laughs> happens to be a BB gun. Still cool. It can go in the case, I guess. Say we, say, we, we can say we got a gun in the case. Okay. Is what it is. All right. Can't even shut that. All right. Let's see what else we got. This is what I really like from this unit. They said the guy was a metal worker. This sucker's going on my building for now. We're going to ask two hundred dollars for it, and I don't care if we sell it or not. This is why I bought the unit. You might say, what? You about to... Yeah, this is why I bought the unit. You don't see this every day. So, I'm probably going to put that up on our main building. Because it looks a daggone good. Man, I think we got some money here, guys. Brand new motorcycle seat. Don't see anything wrong with it. It's all there. It's kind of cool. to get some money out of that. Probably look that up today. Then we got another part. Is that the back? That that might be the little seat that people sit on behind there. And then there's uh yeah and here's another piece. A sissy bar pad. Mustang's the brand name. So I think we have some money here. And then we got saws. There's some really nice tables back there. There's a sandblaster. 
uh, we got this this case right here. It didn't have anything of note in it, but I think just the case is going to be something we can sell. We got this little miter saw that'll sell. Then the grinder, lawnmower. This this first load. Oh yeah, we got a uh, a shop back in there. Bought that home today. These usually bring around twenty-five dollars or so. Oh wow! All kind of parts. These are motorcycle parts. Is that a? No, that's not a. What is that? I'm gonna have to look that up, guys. I'll plead ignorance on this one. Yeah. It looks like it could be a motorcycle part, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look that up. And we got a little floppy disk. That's not gonna do any good. And some CDs, speakers, another toolbox, and this old thing. I love these because I never can find the right thing when I need it. So you got like bolts. I think I actually need some of these. So this is a nice little thing. I'm gonna end up keeping this. Probably use some of the stuff in here. So, <clears throat> the guy at the, at the facility he said they just bought that facility three weeks ago and they had 19 units for sale because they, they had let that lag behind. And he said he thought that I got the best unit there. So, for whatever it's worth, I felt like it was the best unit. That's why I bid on it. Doesn't mean I was going to get it, but I did get this. So uh, we're going to go back and get another load either later on today or tomorrow. I don't have to have it out until Tuesday. But I'm really itching to get this video up for you guys tonight. It's I just can't wait. I love doing that. And I will have that up for you. you will, well, you're seeing it right now. So I'm going to try to have this up by 5 o'clock. And I will show you how this looks on my building when I get it up there. It'll be easy to mount because there's plenty of holes that cut in there to show design on this eagle that stands on top of it. That is so cool. Anyway, I'm just over the moon on this piece here. So, I guess that'll be all for uh, this segment of uh, this locker. I will definitely have another video up probably tomorrow probably tomorrow. So I will see you then and enjoy this video. Like, subscribe, and share it in any of your platforms you're on. Please do, and I will see you tomorrow.